In this video, we are going to deconstruct and rape Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, episode 19. Yeah, something to cheer early for. I'm gonna give you a, I'm gonna give you a breakdown of that. Don't worry, guys. So keep on watching. You can say it's the um, uh, the biggest victory so far for the Beast Knights, but hey, let's not get ahead of ourselves, guys. All right. First order of business, the thumbnail. What the fuck is that, Bobby Ma? <laughs> Anima as to how she's going to uh, beat her brother, uh, how she's going to destroy her brother's uh, her brother's um, heinous device. Oh, ayan pinakita with a device of her own. All it took was for all the beast guys to realize there is hope other than despair. So you. Eh, nalaman din natin dito na Eto pala Ang nakita ni Amamiya In the last episode During uh, his trial With uh, with Anima So kumaga, siya ang una nakakita nito Next week will be the road to the finale So, malamang Malalaman natin yan So with that in mind Let's get to the nitty gritty of this episode Face! There were One and a half battle scenes Okay the half is the opening sequence. The pacing from there on in medyo naging slow, but uh, enlightening kasi they got 10 days now to come up with a solution on basically on how to beat the 11th golem. Do I have complaints? No. Here's my main reason. The battle, the second battle scene was was quite um, uh, what you call this? Uh, it's quite epic. The pacing will make you realize both the um, uh, uh both the um, what you call this? The, the mental and emotional anguish all the beast types have to go through in this episode, leading to the battle scene we're in. Uh, we're in. Shimaki just told everybody to just step back and let him do the rest. The pacing will make you feel uh, moments of yeah, uh, contemplation. It will also make you feel, of course, uh, you, you feel uh, you, you're going to celebrate alongside the Beast Knights because it, oh, yay! It took us six episodes to beat him. <laughs> Flow naman! First gear shit here was Shuma, uh, Shimaki's Eureka moment. Right? For me, this is a uh, this is a very important gear shift. Why? Because here, I just realized that Shimaki, if ano ang ang talagang purpose ng mga golem, kung ano ang uh, ano ginagawan di ginagawan nila dito sa mundo ito, kung hindi natin namarod ang ang gear shift kato, malamang hindi natin uh, ma appreciate yung uh, kung bakak yung Yung, yung moment na yun we're in, napatay na ni, napatay ni Shimaki ang 11th golem. And, it's also a deep dive, it's also one heck of a deep dive. Kasi, well, you would, kasi ako nag-iisip si, si Shimaki on why, uh, why is it like this, why is it like that. Kasi makapag-ganong tayo. Kung ano, ano ba kung sumabot? You, you would actually think alongside the guy. <laughs> you would actually, you, you would not, Probably you would probably not cheer him on, but to um, you would probably sit down beside him and uh, and help him think. Oh, ano? Ano kaba? Ang ganon eh. ni. Second gear shift was when, of course, the moment Shimaki kills Memacterion with his three golems. No brainer there because. Hi, salama. It's the type of gear shift that will make you. That will make you go. They'll make you. They'll make you say that, right? It's a, it's a gear shift of relief on the on on your part as the viewer. Yeah, it's quite a momentous occasion. That 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 gear shift. Okay, that's why I call it the gear shift. It's a, it's a pivotal moment in the anime. Final gear shift was, yup, Anima finally shows her counter weapon. 
This is a certified gearship, folks, okay? Also a no-brainer. All this time, since Anima's first appearance, she has been testing the Beast Knight's um, uh, levels of hope. With the victory, with their victory against Mimacterion, so all their hopes got uh, just went through the roof. At ayun, pinakita na ni, uh, denied na sila ni Anamiya na just look up to the sky and you'll see it. Ayun, nakita nila. And it's also a great setup for, if not for the entire road to the finale, for, for at least the next episode. It is one hell of a setup. Okay? So these three gearships that I saw, guys. Um, detail. Pag ito lang, pag ito lang tatlong ito, napanood ninyo. Watch the entire episode. Kasi may mga kilig moments to. May mga kilig moment eh. Because between um, uh, Amamiya and Hatoko. But Amamiya is so fucking dense! Alright? It's annoying already! Why well, deliberately miss out on that? Okay? Just watch the whole episode. Pero, if you really want a full grasp of, of how the episode went down, just focus your mind on these three gear ships. Alright? Who knows? It will serve you well during the road to the finale. Plot-wise, there were mini explainer sequences, pero whether you're new to anime or not, you wouldn't notice it. Eh. Okay lang. Therefore, Malinis ang plot, guys! I couldn't see this episode as having a um, having a detailed explainer sequence much less a backstory or a side story kasi kung meron masisira eh masisira yung momentum going into the second battle scene masisira yung momentum eh. right so pace, flow, and plot they all came together for this episode folks and wow Overall, this episode is one hell of a setup for the road to its finale. Say, well, next, uh, the next time we we possibly review this, it's episode 20 na. Umpisa na ang road to the finale. The final five episodes of this anime. And wow, it's been a it's been a great run so far. So, Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, episode 19. Sir, I almost um gave it a gave it a one thumb up. You wanna know why? Because parang parang medyo na pagalan ako sa ne sa 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 part where in you know, one two yung that part those parts of the episode where they were uh, they were uh, contemplating they were training. Uh, uh, finding out ways on how to on how to beat the the Macterion. Medyo na bagal na pero uh, after it ended and uh, nag, nag pumasok pa sa second battle scene, I thought, no, it's justified. We really need uh, the audience needs to um to get a full grasp as to uh, what all the Beast Knights were doing and what they're going through. Kasi Talagang mabigat na kalaban ito si Mimakter yun. Alright? It took 8! Yeah. 8 episodes for the Beast Knights to kill him. Alright? 8 episodes. Grabe. Ilang ilang Beast Knights na pinatay ng pinatay ng Gagum to? Dalawa! I, yeah, I think dalawa. Dalawang Beast Knight ang tinuban nito. So... It's quite a joyous occasion for, for for fans of this anime because finally the Beast Knights can now destroy the Biscuit Hammer. Can now set their sights on the Biscuit Hammer. Tapos yun nga inintroduce ni Anima yung kanyang counter weapon. Uh, yeah, I'm very sure all the Beast Knights are will now be able to operate this. But hey, it's it's still up in the air. The road to finale, the road to the finale is about to start. Do pala natin malalaman ito. So, watch the next review while we're waiting for that. So again, 
Lucifer and the Biscuit Hammer, episode 19. Tonight!